Hi friends, in this video we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. If you are ready, let's get started. 3 to the power of 2 plus 5 then times open parenthesis 7 plus 2 times 2 plus 1 then all of them to the power of 2. Some people solve this question like this. 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. 9 plus 5 then times 7 plus 2 which equals 9 times 2 plus 1 which equals 3 and 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. 9 plus 5 equals 14. 14 times 9 times 9 which equals 81 and they say 14 times 81 equals 1134. This answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. Inside these parentheses, we have another parentheses. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Now we have 7 plus 2, then times 3 to the power of 2 inside these parentheses. Okay guys, now we have addition, multiplication and exponent. First, we simplify this exponent. 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. Now inside the parentheses, we have 7 plus 2, then times 9. Okay guys, we have addition and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. 2 times 9 equals 18. Now we have 7 plus 18 inside this parenthesis. 7 plus 18 equals 25. The final answer of this part equals 25. Now the question is 3 to the power of 2 plus 5 then times 25. Again, we have exponent, addition, and multiplication. First, we do this exponent. 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. 9 plus 5, then times 25. Now we have addition and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. Because multiplication has higher priority than addition. 5 times 25 equals 125. Now we have 9 plus 125. 9 plus 125 equals 134. The final answer of this question equals 134. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. 6 minus 1 over 4, then times open parenthesis, 8 divided by 1 over 3, times 3 to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? Can you solve it? In this question, we have subtraction, multiplication, parentheses, division, and exponent. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations, which is PEMDAS. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. First, we simplify the parentheses. Inside this parentheses, we have 8 divided by 1 over 3. To solve this part, we need to follow the KCF rule. K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. We keep the first number as it is. After that, we change the division sign to the multiplication sign. And after that, we flip the second fraction. Now we have a new expression. 6 minus 1 over 4. Then times open parenthesis 8 times 3 close parenthesis, then times 3 to the power of 2. Again, we simplify the parenthesis. 8 times 3 equals 24. Now we have 6 minus 1 over 4 times 24 times 3 to the power of 2. Okay, guys, now we have subtraction, multiplication, and exponent. First, we simplify this exponent. 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. Now we have 6 minus 1 over 4 times 24 times 9. In this step, we simplify this multiplication. Negative 1 over 4 times 24. Negative 1 over 4 times 24 equals negative 24 over 4, which equals negative 6. Now the question is, 
6 minus 6, then times 9. Okay, guys, we have 6 minus 6 times 9. We have subtraction and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 6 times 9 equals negative 54. Now we have 6 minus 54. 6 minus 54 equals negative 48. And the final answer of this question equals negative 48. Okay, guys. If you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. 5 to the power of 2 minus open parentheses 8 divided by 2 close parentheses then times open parentheses 8 minus 6 close parentheses then all of them to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have exponent, subtraction, parentheses, multiplication, and division. Some people start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. They say 5 to the power of 2 equals 25. 25 minus 8 divided by 2, which equals 4, then times 8 minus 6, which equals 2, and 2 to the power of 2 equals 4, then minus 5 to the power of 2, which equals 25. 25 minus 4 equals 21. 21 times 4, then minus 25. Again, they start from the left and simplify. 21 times 4 equals 84. 84 minus 25. 84 minus 25 equals 59. They say the final answer of this question equals 59. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. Again, to solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. If you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. And when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify. According to this rule, first we simplify these parentheses. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Now the question is 5 to the power of 2 minus 4 times open parentheses 8 minus 6 close parentheses then all of them to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 2. Again we simplify the parentheses. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Now the question is 5 to the power of 2 minus 4 then times 2 to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 2. In this step, we simplify the exponent. 5 to the power of 2 equals 25. Now the question is 25 minus 4 times 2 to the power of 2 which equals 4, then minus 5 to the power of 2 which equals 25. Now we have subtraction and multiplication. First, we do this multiplication because the multiplication has higher priority than subtraction. Negative 4 times 4 equals negative 16. Now we have 25 minus 16, then minus 25. Because we have negative and positive numbers on both sides, we simplify and we get the final answer of this question. The final answer of this question equals negative 16. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.